Okay, we're up to law number four of the five laws for making millions. And law number four, like the rest, is really simple. It's spend less than you make. Now, it's hardly difficult, is it? Hardly rocket science. But it's one of the main laws that people neglect. And I think the, the reason it, they neglect it is because it's a concept, it's an idea. And our minds aren't very good at applying concepts and ideas into our lives. What our minds are very good at is applying uh, pictures, images into our lives. So we're going to do a really simple demonstration to help burn this law into your minds. To spend less than you make. Law number four. This cylinder, this tube, represents your, your saving capacity. The line at the top, that represents the amount you need to become financially secure, financially independent, where the amount of money you make from your investments is more than enough for you to live comfortably on, in a style that you, you, you like, without you having to work if you don't want to. Now, the way we get to this level, of course, is by exchanging our, our time for money. That's called work. So we go to work and we put our money into our savings account or under our mattress or in a tin in the backyard and sooner or later we will reach the amount that we're aiming for, for our goal. Now if you're on $50,000 a year, if you work for 10 years you'd have half a million dollars. If you work for 20 years you'd have a million dollars. So you see sooner or later you're going to reach that level. But that's not reality, is it? Because in fact, we don't just have incoming every week, we also have outgoings. Unless you're working out, living at home with your parents and they're paying all your bills, you're going to have to pay for things. Travel to and from work, uh, food, clothing, accommodation, entertaining, your mobile phone, uh, petrol, travel, cars, whatever it is, there's going to be expensive. We're going to call those leaks. So every week, there's going to be leaks. Every week you put money in, there's going to be money coming out. So, given that, how are you going to get to the level you want to get to? The place where we'll say financially independent. Well, number one option, of course, is to increase the amount going in at the top. You might get a second job or change your investments to areas where you get more return. Or you could do some education at night so you become more valuable to the workforce. So you work, you work, you work more every week so you can put more in. So that way you're going to get to the target sooner than later. Now the problem is most people when they start making more money and put more money in the top, what they do is in create, create more leaks. They start spending more. The more they make, the more they spend. Uh, some statistics from before superannuation became law was that over 90% of professionals ended up on the pension. That means they, were, they ended up with this amount of money, which means they weren't saving this. They should have been way up here, but they weren't. They were spending at least what they, what they were getting in or more. So lots of bankruptcies as well. People with no money when they stop working, when they can't work and make any more money, they're, they're way down here. It shouldn't be the case. It, it's a sad truth though. Before superannuation became law, that was happening. So the, the fourth law for making millions is to spend less than you make. First part of that is obviously to make more. So the second part then is what? If we're going to increase the amount that's coming in, we've also got to do one other thing. We've got to reduce the amount coming out. We've got to plug those holes. That's going to mean that what we've got coming in, what we've come, come in is going to get there sooner. Now plugging holes, there's lots of ways to do it and we're going to talk about some a bit later, but, but one of them is just little things. You know like you go to work every day and you buy a cup of coffee on the way to work. That's $4 a day, that's $20 a week, that's $1,000 a year. That and lots of other little things, you know like do you need the $150 mobile phone uh, account every month? But see, every, all those little things add up, $100 a week, just imagine, $100, that's $5,000 a year, that's $25,000 over five years, just on little things that you wouldn't notice if you didn't have them. So, the fourth law of making millions 
is to pay the, uh, is to spend less than you make. So you need to make more and spend less. Block off the things. What happens then? Before you realise it, well, sooner than not, sooner than later. Get the point. Sooner or, so, so, sooner or later, sooner or later, you get to where you want to be. But it only it takes two things: increasing the amount we put in and reducing the amount we let out. Well, know the other four laws of making millions.